guys, I wanted to show you all an infield drill that I think is important for any infielder at any skill level. Um, and this is something you can do. You just need a buddy, toss you some short hops. And what we're really focusing on here is soft hands. Soft hands and how we want to go get a hop. It's just a, just a short move forward. All right, so I'm going to imitate this a little bit, then I'm going to talk about what I'm doing. The first way we want to do it is just routine ground ball. We get in a nice athletic position, feet just outside of your shoulders. You want to get back, your butt goes back. You don't squat like a catcher. This is something a lot of little kids like to do. They like to squat right straight down like a catcher. Uh, what we do is we push our butt back. We get in an athletic position. We're going to have our friend here, Josh. He's going to toss me some short hops. This is one of those drills I wish I had seen sooner in my career. I was one of those guys that in high school I struggled to catch a ground ball. I kicked balls left and right, uh, and I went to college, worked at it, worked, worked, took a lot of pride in my defense, and I was able to morph into somebody who won a couple of gold gloves in minor league baseball. Uh, this is one of those drills that softens up your hands, gets you used to muscle memory again, gets you used to a good fielding position, and what's really awesome about it is you can teach your five-year-old this drill or you can work with your 18-year-old on this drill. We gotta be in a good defensive position in our legs. We have to have soft hands. And we have to have the right mechanics as far as going to get the ball. Whenever there's a short hop, you're gonna go get it. What you'll see a lot of little guys do is whenever they, whenever they hear go get it, they're gonna pull one of these. That's not what we're trying to do here, okay? We want to have our hands soft and it's just a subtle movement right there. We're just going to get the hop. We want to catch it like an egg. So what this allows us to do is we're in front of the ball we have a chance, we're down on the ball's level. We don't move with the hop, we just go get it. Once you have that down, obviously you're not gonna be able to get in front of every ground ball. So we do a forehand. It's the same movement with my arms, but in the position I get, I pivot my feet, I'm over here just like I'm making a play in the hole as an infielder. And I get over here and I put my glove in front of my left foot. For lefties, you'll be in front of your right foot. And once again, we're trying to catch it as soft as possible. And after we do Right in front of us, forehand, we go with the backhand. This is more difficult, okay? This is kind of the third thing every young player learns. All you guys out there watching me, the backhand is just as important as a forehand, okay? We want to have our glove open as wide as it gets, and we go get the ball. We're going to have our feet pivot the opposite direction. I still want to catch it out in front of my body, okay? So I'm going to go down here. An important thing to remember whenever you switch to the backhand. We want our elbow bent and you gotta bend your knees to where you can get down there. We like to keep, we think like we're on a hinge, okay? So I'm hinging with my arm to go get it. We're not straightening out our elbow, all right? Anything where there's tension, you're not doing it correctly, okay? So we wanna be soft, easy, and relaxed. So we just relax our glove, okay? It's just an extension of our hand. That's all it is. So we're down here and we hinge.
I really like this drill because it doesn't take any amount of space to practice, okay? We can have any kind of surface. Right now I'm on a softball field. You can be at home with a tennis ball. You can be out on your back porch on the concrete. You can be on a gym floor. It really doesn't matter. All you need is a partner to throw you uh, short hops and you're able to practice this drill. Uh, I repeated myself a couple times, but we did this in professional baseball a lot. Okay, this is how we got loose on the infield. Uh, we did this every day in spring training. We did this all fall in uh, college until our legs were shaking. It's just a great drill, and I wish I had learned it sooner. But I think the younger, the better. Um, every little guy that I train at the end of our hitting lessons, we do this drill. This is one of those things that teaches a lot of different things. I like drills that aren't just focused on one aspect. Like I said before, we do it in spring training at the professional level. We do it in college. We do it so many times. Um, your legs start to shake a little bit, so it's good, good endurance for your legs. But it's one of those things for me, I grew up and in high school I couldn't catch a cold. Um, I was a pretty rough infielder. In college, I got a lot better with instruction from my coaches. And then eventually I had a chance to win a few gold gloves at the minor league level. So uh, this is one of those things I love. I did it before every game I played in professional baseball. Um, once we got warmed up, I'd have some guys throw me short hops. So this is just a cool drill you can do anywhere, anytime.